Hi, uh, in this video, we'll try to uh, show to you that we can approach the three-phase problem with only one approach. Uh, I will not be solving examples here. You can go to the exa solved example in my channel, but now I will just show you what is the approach that you can deal with uh, three-phase uh, circuits. And this is one approach. There are another approach, but we will use only the approach which is converting the three-phase system into a single-phase system. But before that, let's review some of uh, two important uh, rules that we, we or formula that we found are derived uh, in the previous videos. The first one is that in a Y connection, that the VAB or the line-to-line -line voltage is equal to root three, the phase voltage, and you add plus 30 to it. So if you have a Y connection, this is the relation between the line to line quantity and the phase quantity. If you have a delta connection, then the line current is equal to root three, the phase current, but here minus 30. Okay, so these, these two uh, formulas are very important and we need to, uh, to use them. Now, as we know, we have four different possibilities in connecting the source to the load. We could have Y, 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 Delta, Delta, Y, and Delta, Delta. We'll start with the Y, Y connection. In the Y, Y connection, because there is the common neutral between the two, I can isolate this phase. So I can take phase A, phase B, any of those phases, I can take them and isolate that. So I will have this phase alone. And then I will analyze the circuit in the single phase model. I will ju just go there in that mode of single phase. I will do all the calculations. And once I know voltages, maybe I want to find the current Maybe I need to know the VAN, the voltage at the load, or any other quantities. And then we can find the other phases, knowing that the B phase has minus 120, and the C phase has plus 120 phase shifts. Okay, so when we have YY connection, easily isolate one phase, and then work on that phase, and once you are done with all the calculations, you go back to the three-phase system and you find any three-phase quantities needed. Now, if the source is basically a delta connection, then I cannot isolate a single phase now, okay? Because there is no neutral. This common point between the load and the source, this neutral doesn't exist. So what we need to do, we need to convert the source into a Y connection. So basically here, I will have a virtual, not real, but a virtual Y connection source. And this will be your V, A, N, V, B, N, and V, C, N. Now we know V, A, B, but we don't know V, A, N, but we already know the relationship between the line voltages and the phase voltages. We know that your VAB is equal to root three VAN and plus 30. This is the formula that I just started uh, my uh, video with it. So I want VAN. So my VAN would equal to the VAB divided by root three and an angle of minus 30. So the phase voltage is equal to the line to line voltage divided by root three and the phase shift of minus minus 30. Now, once I converted the delta connection into a Y connection, I went back to the previous case, which is Y, Y connection. So here, if the source is the delta, then I will convert it into Y connection and then I will have the Y, Y connection and isolate the phase and do like what we did in this example. What if the load itself is delta, 
So again, I will convert the Z delta into ZY. ZY equal to and ZY. Again, this is a virtual uh, Y connection. Now, what is the relation between ZY and Z delta? Without going into mathematical derivation, you can find that on the internet. ZY is equal to Z delta divided by three. So this is the relationship between ZY and Z delta. Okay, so again, if the delta connection is at the load side, convert the load back to Y connection, and then go to the Y, Y connection. If both the source and the load are delta connection, then change the source and change the, the load. One last point here. So imagine that, for example, the load was a Y connection, I converted here the delta into Y. So I will have here my VAN and I will have here the equivalent ZY. And then I will find my IA, the line current. IA is equal to VAN divided by ZY. What if I want to find IAB? Now IA is the line current and the phase current in the Y connection. But this Y connection is virtual. It's not, it's not act, the actual impedance. We only do this conversion to make the analysis easier. So if I want to find IAB in the actual delta connection, then I have to use the relationship that we started the video with, which is the relationship between the line current and the phase current. So we know that IA is equal to root 3 IAB angle of minus 30. Now, my intention here is to find IAB, which is equal to IA, the current that we found from the single phase, divided by root 3 and plus 30. So in conclusion, our objective is always to work with a YY connection. Isolate one phase, work in the single phase, and then if you want to find any three phase quantities, you can easily go back doing the line voltages and the phase voltage relation, the phase and the line current relation in the Y connection. Now, if you have any other type of connections, delta at the source or uh, at the load, then you need to do the conversion that we did and work on the YY connection, and then you can find all the other quantities.